Imagine 1.5 million people living in an area half the size of Central Park. You've got one toilet for every 1,500 people, or you've got drinking water mixing with the sewage. You can really see the sorrow that a lot of these people are experiencing there. So a group of five of us were sitting in classrooms all around College Hill from Brown and RISD. And as we were sitting there and doing our problem sets and doing our exams, we realized that every hour that we spent doing those exams, 240 children were dying of a preventable waterborne disease. That means in a normal final, we've got 720 kids dying across the world of a disease which has an easy fix. Waterwall is not a charity, we're a social venture. We want to take what we've learned in terms of business, industrial design, management, entrepreneurship, economics, and, and apply that to a practical problem that was going to help people around the world. So we run ourselves like a social business. So what we do is by encouraging the use of these safe water technologies, we generate demand for these products, create microeconomies, and furthermore create jobs for the entrepreneurs and vendors that are going to be selling the products. I think one of the biggest problems we're trying to address with Waterwalla is education. The fact of the matter is that a lot of people living in slums don't understand the complications of sanitation and clean water. And that's a barrier that we're going to have to overcome. We're not trying to solve access to water. Rather, what we're trying to solve is making sure that the water that these people are getting is safe for them to drink. The issue becomes when they get the water and they're drinking it, they're getting sick, they're having to go to the hospital, they're spending a third of their income on diseases which are stemming from this water that they worked so hard to get. So we get amazing opportunities here at Brown University, and we get an amazing education. And I think the obligation for all of us is to make sure that we share that with as many people as we can. And so we want to use the resources that we've gotten here to make a difference. And we think that the best way for us to start is doing what we're doing in India. Water has a positive social impact in every single family's life. And if we're only successful in one slum, and if we can only change one family's thought processes towards clean water, and if we can only save one child's life out of the entire slum population in the world, then all the work that we've put in and all the work that we plan to put in is worth it. There's no question. Thank you.